Hi, this is about wood chips. Uh, I went out and uh, picked a bunch of roadside wood chips and I'm just going to talk to you about classifying them. Generally when I go out to pick uh, road chips, wood chips from the roadside, in the past I have just gone out and shoveled or scooped or uh, manure raked uh, everything that was in the pile. This time, I guess you might say, I cherry-picked them. A anyway, I, pi I did not pick piles that had a lot of long little skinny twigs in them at all. And even as I was shoveling and uh, otherwise uh, putting uh, the chips into the pail, I was throwing out excessively long parts already to save myself a lot of time later. Here are two pails of uh, uh, spruce uh, chips that I got this morning from uh, County Roadside Ditch Work. Uh, they seem to be the thickest chips that I found this spring on the roadside. Now we'll go look at yesterday's pickup of chips. Yesterday I got uh, 16 pails of chips from the County Roadside Ditch and none of these are conifers. Um, it's been kind of rainy so they're a little damp. Obviously they're fresh cut mostly from live trees, so they're, they're still pretty wet and they have to be dealt with. Now let's look at how I am going to be classifying these wood chips. My Chinese JXQ10 gasifier, just so that you realize that there's some uh, gasifier uh, content in all this. For more references, mostly uh, partially burnt uh, charcoal that I made in the gasifier. Here's my classification setup. The, the half of a, a plastic drum I'm using to catch what goes through my sieves and I sit on that pail right there so I don't have to break my back. Anyway, the sieves, there are three of them that I'm using and this one is uh, quarter, quarter by quarter, this one is half by half, and this is half by one. I don't know that they're the ideal sieves. I think they're 24 by 36 uh, inches, by the way, and they're all the same size, so they stack on top of each other for whatever that's worth. But at any rate, so what I do is I take one of the sieves and put it on here, and then I just, uh, maybe a half a pail at a time, and just uh, scratch it all around until nothing more falls through. And uh, here are the, uh, the classes of chips that I'm going for. And now recognizing that I took one of the pails out of here, a fairly full to the top pail, and I sorted it out into the sizes I'm about to discuss. And so here's the result that I got. Okay, first off, I'm removing what I call the longs. That's stuff that would certainly bridge up my gasifier. Okay, and I kind of do that as I go. And so here, out of the full pail, loosely stacked, my lungs are about an inch and a half deep. Obviously they're not compacted, so they'd squish down more if they were in the whole pail. So the first thing I did was to uh, run the pail, the rest of the pail, through the quarter by quarter sieve, and this is the stuff that I got out of that. I mean, this is really fine, I mean, sawdust is, you know, from a circular sawmill is bigger than that. And that's inch and a half, two inches deep. And that certainly I wouldn't want in my gasifier at all. Okay, so now I took what wouldn't go through the quarter by quarter sieve and I ran that through the uh, half inch square sieve. And this is what fell through the half inch square sieve. And that's probably three inches deep. Don't hold my feet to the fire if all this doesn't add up exactly, but anyway, that's the stuff that would fall through the half by half. Okay, now next to the last pile, this is the stuff that would fall through the half by one sieve, and it has a definitely lighter feel to it. Okay, anyway, that looks like usable stuff to me. And then, of course, this final pail is the stuff that wouldn't fall through the half by one sieve, and that's probably two inches deep. Did I say this is three and a half? This one uh, that would go through the half by one is probably three and a half inches deep. 
Okay, so there's the whole deal. All right. First, the lungs uh, there, then the almost dust, then uh, the stuff that would uh, fall through the uh, uh, half by half, what would fall through the half by one, and what wouldn't fall through the half by one. And that's out of one pail. Obviously, this all got to be dried. What I've done in the past is to dry the wood chips by spreading them out, putting a fan over them, uh, taking them out of each pail, taking the net weight of each pail, and then spreading them out all over the garage floor when the truck isn't in the way, and then uh, uh, scrape them up every couple of days and weigh them, and when they don't change weight anymore after a, for a day or two, I assume they're dry enough down to under 15% or thereabouts. But at any rate, I'm going to do it different this time. Uh, I'm going to sift, uh, do this classification first, and then I'm going to dry the stuff that I would keep anyway. And that'll do two things for me, I think. One, I won't have to waste time drying stuff I'm not going to use. And secondly, by having the small stuff out of there, uh, I, I won't have, I'll, I'll have better airflow to dry things quicker. That's the program. I just showed you uh, two pails full of uh, conifer wood chips, spruce, I think. Very resinous, I might add, and makes your fingers very sticky. Uh, but at any rate, there were two full pails. Now what I have done is I decided to go backwards with my sorting. Rather than start getting rid of the real fine stuff, I started at the top end. So out of two whole pails, here is what would not go through the half by one sieve. About a half a pail. And of course, you got to realize it's loosely stacked. Here is this is the stuff that would not go through that would go through the half by one but would not go through the uh, half by half okay and I think maybe those would be usable and then here finally these are the ones that would go through the half by half I didn't even bother going through the down to the quarter by quarter because I've already concluded today that anything that will fall through the half by half is too small to use, at least in my gasifier. And it's packed pretty tightly all on its own. All right, so I know it looks like uh, three pails that are half full, but it's because of the, uh, you know, the little stuff filling in, in, in the cracks in the bigger ones, okay? Talk a, a little bit about the nature of the wood chips that I have seen made in the last day or so. Uh, these again are the uh, are the spruce wood chips and if I take a handful of these I don't know if you can see them here but they're they're fatter they're they're relatively thick compared to their length and width dimensions I don't know how well that focuses okay and they're, they're sort of stubby which I think is a good thing uh, I've been told by people who know a lot more than I do that the, the more they approach a cube or maybe a sphere even, the better off you are. Well, these are a little on the small side from what a lot of people use in Imbert gasifiers. Uh, re realize that my Chinese gasifier is a stratified downdraft, no nozzles. Uh, I, I think they're going to feed better. Okay, so now let's go over here and let's look at the, uh, the deciduous chips. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see them uh, but they're generally thinner compared to their length and width all right and I think these will probably work okay but they they, they aren't going to feed as well I don't think so I'd be looking for the thicker chips and I don't know and, and these are probably these right here are probably more like box elder uh, than they are oak or something I might add uh, whether or not the conifer chips over there are thicker because of the way the the conifer tree softer wood goes through the chipper or because or maybe it's because they were uh, chipping uh, 8 to 10 inch trees and, and and I watched where the wood from the trees went uh, compared to where the uh, the chips from the smaller branches and things went okay and also, I might add, uh, as I said uh, someplace else in this video, that uh, I, I, uh, 
uh, did not pick uh, chips up from in any areas where uh, they allowed the branches with all the needles on them to go through because that just turned the whole pile green and of course that would give you a lot more to sort out. So this sorting goes a lot quicker and it, for each pound I carry home I'm getting a higher yield of chips that I can use I think.